Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to another, uh, well, an episode, uh, really not even a let's look or a let's talk, but this is going to be our first impressions of the skill tree. Um, got to play around with it for about four hours today, going to be playing around with it more tomorrow, uh, looking at our builds, looking at options we can do, and all that stuff, and first impressions are double thumbs up. Uh, before we even get into any of that, uh, I wanted to break down some, some specific questions that were asked as to how much is it going to cost to um, to use? Like, how much is XP? Is it to unlock something? Um, how much? Uh, well, how much of everything? How much is everything of what type thing? Overall, I will tell you this. Um, now, it'll cost you nine point one million C bills. Um. To unlock something, it'll cost you roughly, I think it's 135 million XP. Uh, I'm going to do the math right now in front of you. So I can double check those numbers real quick. But, calculator, let's grab the calculator real quick. Uh, so it's 1,500 XP to unlock one block. And you have a maximum of 91 that you can unlock. So it'll cost you 136,500 XP. Either GXP or standard XP. Up to you, whichever you can spend. You have the ability to spend both on whatever you want. Um, another thing. Another question that was asked was respec. A AKA removing all these options. How much is it going to cost? Well... I got my urban mech here, spec'd it completely, and you have two options. Number one, I can spend 2.2 .2 million, well, 2.275 million C bills, and get and respec, but I get all my XP back. Or I can spend 500 and or sorry, 910 MC, respec my mech completely, and get a refund as well. Either way, both both get a refund. Um, obviously, C bills being the better choice there. Um, you can also despec specific ones. So to despec one specific node is 25,000 C bills and you get your reward immediately of 1,500 XP. So you can go and spend it on immediately on a different one if you want. Now, mind you, there will be the cost difference. You can also revert the changes that you've done just to be on the safe side. There'll be an immediate showing of impact of how it will remove, negate or positively impact your, uh, your 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 enhancements as they're being called, which is pretty good there. Um, another thing, refunds. How are the refunds for XP, GXP, and C bills going to work? So the way the refunds are going to work is is as follows. Um, at the back end, the server will do a scan basically through the database and see what modules you have on your basically in your inventory. It will then cost reference the modules you have with the selling price and will refund you that amount of C bills. Um, some people like myself do have those special limited edition um, clan wave one. Um, uh, I think they, I think they were pre-order um, uh, modules. We're going to get a refund of the standard price of whatever it is, plus an extra million on top of that, which I like. Um, GXP that you spent on unlocking your, unlocking, uh, your, your modules, you know, like your range one, range two, range three, range four, range five things. Um, that's going to be thrown into the overall GXP pool for you to, to, uh, spend on mechs. Um, the next thing also is obviously XP, right? The XP you spent on the mech itself. How is it going to be given to you? And it looks like they kind of broke it down into one basic thing. It's going to be called historic XP. Because you don't have to spend it immediately, right? So what's going to happen is historic XP is going to work like so, where, as you can see here, it's going to show up on the top left-hand corner. Uh, we're actually going to pick a different mech here that I haven't actually touched yet. That I think I have XP in. Nope, no XP on you. I've never piloted my urban mech R60L. Good to know. Uh, let's go with the hero mech here, because I know I've, I've, I've piloted him a few times. So here we have 29,625 XP for this mech specifically. Now, the reason why it says 
it's giving you this option is twofold. The first, the, the first option is just in case you have more than one mech of the same variant, to be able to either spend it all on the one variant and transfer basically all the XP to the one variant, or split it up. So for example, I have under my assaults here, oh, it's a Cyclops, that's an Atlas, there we go. Sorry, the frame rates are a little, are a little wonky here. I have two Atlas SLs. Now, when I go into the skill tree, they both have 26,205. Because that is just the overall XP the two of them have combined. I think I only had like five matches in each. Now, the way it's set up is that it's generally pooled for the two. So every single variant has one pool. So no matter how many mechs of one variant you have, like I have two of my asses here, they have one pool of XP. So you can either play both mechs, Still get the times two XP on both mechs, but then spend all this all the XP on the one mech and grind it out, or split the two. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to transfer the the XP over properly. Uh, we're going to do that on my eight Q here, and we're also going to spend obviously some stuff on the skills. A couple things you need to learn. Number one, have your mech built out the way you want to spend it. So I want to do. I want, obviously, a 6 or a 4 ER PPC 8Q. I mean, it's a given, right? It's it's an 8Q. It already has PPC heat gen and uh, PPC velocity. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to take those. No problem. Engine? Well, we're going to put a nice big standard engine in this thing. We'll put a standard 300 in it. Uh, we're going to throw some double heat sinks in this thing. And we're just going to save it for the moment. Now here's where you would throw on, obviously, well actually, you know what, let's just do this now. We're going to put the rest of our heat sinks on that we want. Uh, 79 and boom, 80. So there. So now we have all the heat sinks we want. We have the engine we want. All that stuff. Good to go. So 1.1 is our heat efficiency. Our speed 60.8. Blah, blah, blah. Well, it's time to spec the mech. Now, you're going to notice there's red triangles and yellow triangles. So before we even get into that, uh, we're going to look at transferring our XP. Now, theoretically, if we had more than one uh, 8Q, we could share it. But we're not. We're going to give it all to this one mech. So we're going to give it the full 37,262. We hit transfer, which is right here. And it will even tell you, are you sure you want to transfer the 37,262 historic XP to the AWS 8Q? This will draw the historic XP pool shared by all AWS 8Q variants. The historic XP can not be reversed. It's okay. We only have one anyways. Now, we've already stated that 136,500 is needed to fully upgrade this thing. No big deal, right? It actually tells us right now we can only afford 24 uh, points with our current 37,000 XP. But if we use GXP, we could afford our full 91. Now you can combine the two together. So theoretically, theoretically that is, sorry, my, my math, yeah. words, math, not greatest. So theoretically, if we did our 91 or our 24 and then our, the, our remaining amount, we would be able to do 24 with our XP and 67 with our GXP, which is pretty good, right? So that's exactly what we're going to do. But before we do that, we're going to get into what this red stuff is and this yellow. So yellow, if we hover over it, states, the skill tree contains some nodes that have no effect on your current mech's loadout. Meaning, these are all laser or our energy range or energy cooldowns and all that jewels and all that stuff. The reason why these are still an option to select is because we have energy hard points. So theoretically we could swap out the PPCs for ER, you know, ER large lasers or, you know, um, even here we can go to pulse if we wanted to theoretically, you'll notice that all the ballistics are all grayed out. The reason for this, Hover over it. This skill tree is disabled due to the incompatibility of your mech's current layout. We have no ballistic slots, so they're all gone. Now, before we even get into anything else here, we 
are going to kind of zoom up so it's nice and big. So you can see lots and lots of options to pick, right? Well, it's broken up into five primary sections. We have firepower, survival, mobility, well, it zooms this in automatically, eh? Mobility, operations, infotech, and then each one is broken up into a subgroup. So, for example, firepower is ballistic. Energy, which is your lasers, your pulse lasers, your, uh, your, your lasers, your pulse lasers, and your PPCs. Missiles are broken up into LRMs, SRMs, and streaks. And I forgot to mention ballistic is broken up into autocannons, ultra autocannons, LBX autocannons, and Gauss rifles. I like that. Survival or survivability is broken up into, uh, I'm pretty sure, yep, survivability is just this. It's defense, so that's like your overall armor hardening, which gives you a armor bonus. Skeletal density, which gives you structure bonus. Fall damage, which helps you from falling and taking damage. And AMS overload, which gives your AMS additional damage. Then we have mobility overall. So it's got upper lower chassis. That's your, your you know, your turns, your yaws, your speed tweak, kinetic burst, handbrakes, all that stuff in the, the lower and upper chassis. Then we also have jump jet capacity cap capabilities. So vectoring, which I found is very interesting. That's the ability to do forward thrust no matter what. So if you're standing in one spot and you hit space bar, your mech will generally naturally gra gravitate forwards automatically if you have these. Uh, lift speed, that's that first initial jump jest um pa pa. Um, everyone has to have plus one because it needs the ability to actually lift you at the beginning. And then vent calibration, this actually here is the uh, kind of a bonus for it to extend longer. So it's 1% for every block. So you can actually increase your your jump jets, your basically your jump jet capacity by 5% if you have even one jump jet. Then we have operations which is, well, mech operations. So that's your heat containment, hill climbing, your cool run, uh, your magazine capacity, which is very interesting, mind you. Um, that gives you the ability to carry more ammo just automatically. Quick ignition, heat containment, cool run, things like that. Then we have our sensors, uh, which I'll get into the this one over here in a second. But So this gives you, this right here, sensors, has a lot of our old um, modules in them. Advanced zoom, sensor range, target info, target retention, target decay, info gathering, uh, sensor uh, radar derp, um, seismic, and uh, advanced zoom. And it also has a new thing, which is enhanced ECM. So the enhanced ECM, from what we're figuring out here, is that's the actual reduction it takes in someone being spotted within ECM. Meaning that when you're when you're in a match, and you're actually seeing someone and you can and you can see them and you can see like the the little sensor box around them but you can't really do anything about it it's kind of twitchy like going on off on off on off that's because you're within close enough range that your mech's computer system says there's a mech there it knows a mech's there but it's being kind of screwed up by the ECM this from what I'm not from what I missed uh, understand is i think this incorporates that a little bit more and makes it harder for it, someone to be even locked, even when someone's in the ECM bubble, like right on top of someone. Then obviously seismic and advanced zoom. Now, I will tell you this. It is very easy to get advanced zoom, seismic, uh, derp, um, you name it, a lot of these things on here. The way seismic is set up is it actually has, for, for example, seismic sensor one here and two. The two options both have a 100 meter range difference so you can have advanced zoom seismic enhanced ecm radar dart uh, target retention and sensor range you can have what would have cost you millions upon millions um in the old system now you can just have them no problem for the same price as it would cost you for uh heat containment you can get advanced zoom or seismic sensors and last but not least auxiliary uh, part of infotech this, in my eyes, is the almost throwaway. Uh, UAV durations, UAV ranges, and capture assists, and enhanced NARC 1 and 2. Um, overall, I think that's going to be the one where people kind of spend, if you're in a light, obviously capture and UAV uh, range is going to be the big thing. Um, not so much, obviously, UAV time, but range, definitely. Uh, overall, 
the spending and picking of the uh, of the uh, the enhancements, as they're being called, very hard, very very hard to do. Um, some things are really easy; other things are hard. For example, we already know we're going with straight PPCs. So when it comes to basically firepower, all our stuff right now is going to be spent on well our PPCs. So you have two options when you zoom into these guys here: GXP or XP. Unlock either way if you want, but we're going to go XP until we max out our 24. So we're going to go XP, and now all of a sudden you'll notice on the top right here, we now have a plus 4% to our PPC velocity already. Well, we get the range, boom. We now have plus 2% to our range. PPC velocity, done. PPC cooldown, done. Range again, velocity again. Now you're probably looking and going, well, that's pretty good, that's pretty nice. Here is the kicker. Here are all the, 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 the enhancements I'm doing to my mech. I can go back to the loadout real quick. Go here. And here they are. They're showing up on my mech stats already. That's right. They're already on my mech. Now, I haven't saved them yet, so they're not there. So you can actually go through the skill tree, not spend anything, and see how it will impact your mech. That's right. So you can actually build it in your mech as you go. So what we're going to do is we're just going to unlock all the PPC quirks for our 8Q here real quick. Uh, we're at 10. So as an example, we're unlocking all our nodes. Now obviously not all nodes have the same amount. Uh, I believe all the weapon systems do. I believe... Ghost has a couple things that are a little different. So I want to mention this. Um, where is it? Ghost. Ghost does have a little extra thing, which is called Ghost Extended Charge. That extends the ability to be able to hold that charge to fire your Ghost round. So it charges up, and you can hold it a little longer. So this holds it by plus 25, uh, by plus 25, plus 25, plus 25, plus 25. So you can actually increase the charge a little bit. So you can hold on to that gauss round just a little bit longer. Now, as I said, most of these have the same amount of unlock space. Um, I'm pretty sure that most of them are, are, are roughly around the same amount. Roughly around 20, 4, 8, 9, 11, 12. Yeah, LRMs here are 21, for example. But for example, here are the PPCs. To unlock all PPC uh, quirks or enhancements <laughs> uh, and spend it, it'll cost me 2 million C bills, but it will cost me 30,000 XP. More than fair. More than fair. Because before it would have cost me 3, 6, 9. Uh, or it would have cost me at least, at least 6 million. 3 million for the PPC range and, and 3 million for the PPC cooldown. So now, we have no other weapons. So what can we do? Well, I don't like getting killed. So I'm going to go into my defense options and say, well, I want skeletal density. I want better structure bonus. I want fall damage, because I sometimes wander off cliffs like a retard. Armor hardening, well, you want plus two to my armor? I'll take plus two to my armor. No problem. Okay. Uh, well, I still have one more free of my XP, so let's take, uh, well, here is where it comes into the first big change. Which direction do I want to go down this uh, rabbit hole here? Do I want to take fall damage here to go to skeletal density and armor hardening? Or want, do I want to go left and say armor hardening and skeletal, well, okay, well, it's the exact same thing, but then, like this one, it really doesn't show it, uh, so we're going to do it anyways. Yeah, we're going to unlock all these. Skeletal densities, fall damage. Fall damage is not so big deal, but for someone like myself, no big deal, right? So, here we go. We're going to... Oh. We, we, we've gone over. We have gone over what we're doing. We're doing 35. We're going to do 24. We're at 52,500. Um, well, I can reset this, and it resets everything below it. 
and I can reset that. Look at that. I'm now fine and normal. Good to go in contention. Uh, we're now going to unlock fall damage and armor hardening and all these things with our GXP just by hovering over the left side. Now, don't worry if you buy something by accident via GXP or even click on it and buy it. You can immediately hit the, uh, the undo button and switch it. Uh, we're going to take uh, yeah, GXP there. GXP there and GXP there. So here you'll have to take AMS overload there or there or fall damage. If we had no AMS hard point on our mech, they would be completely blocked out. Pretty nice, eh? Don't have to worry about our arms. Don't have to worry about a lot of stuff here. Well, what do I want? Well, I think zoom would be nice. We have PPCs. Uh, seismic would be good to see if anyone's stinking up on us. Uh, we all know people with LRMs are a pain in the butt. So maybe some radar derp? Well, we don't have many weapons, so let's try that, right? So we're going to zoom in here a little bit. We're going to take target info gathering. We have, we have to take it. It's the first thing. Now we can go to the left and say target decay or to the right and say sensor management or sensor range. Well, I, I wouldn't mind better sensor range. I also want to get target info gathering because I have to because I want advanced zoom. So it forces you to take a few things you don't want. But at the same time, it's going to impact you and positively, right? So here we're going to take another sense of range, target retention, target decay, and seismic. That's right. We now advance zoom and seismic sensors. But wait, we're not done. I'm going to take sensor range here. And now I'm going to have radar derp. 20% radar derp. But I also have, if you haven't noticed, and in all of this, I got 360 target retention. Right there. Aha. $4 million. $3 million. $4 million. $3 million. $3 million. $3 million. $3 $3 million. Everything on this thing is actually a part of a module that most people would use. This part, in my eyes, is the main thing. We have seismic now. We have advanced sensors. We have target decay. We have radar derp. Target info gathering if we want it. We have gotten to a point now. Let's get seismic too. I now have size, full seismic. Uh, I think I have full... Oh, don't have... Hold on. Uh, unlock you, you, and you. I now have full radar dirt. I just don't have target to get. I got sensor range. I've got a whole bunch of other stuff. I have more modules now than I would had in the old system. This is something I really like. And on the right here, it's telling us... Okay, we've used up 53 so far of our spot of our points here of 91. We're just over halfway. Well, let's do some heat. Well, let's do some quick ignition. Let's do heat containment. Get ourselves some obviously better uh, 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 max heat. But let's give ourselves cool run as well. Quick ignition wouldn't be bad again, because that way I, we, if we do overheat, we turn on faster. Improved gyros isn't that bad, because we get the 50% uh, screen shake. Oh, wait. That was a 3 to $4 million uh, module right there. Done. Let's grab some cool run again. Let's grab some speed retention. Well, in the meantime, let's grab uh, heat containment and another heat containment. We have a heat dissipation rate of 4%. Max heat now increased of 12%. Startup of 14%. <laughs> See where I'm getting at with, it, with a lot of this stuff? It is way better now than it was before. Do I want do I want cool run? Okay, no problem. I'll take hill climb and cool run. I'm good. That's 65. 
Upper chassis. Well, do we want to do torso twisting and stuff like that? I'm not too worried about that. Uh, lower chassis. Well, I want speed tweak. So the way they've done speed tweak here, it's a little, it's a little evil. But speed tweak is the bottom three here, and the far right one and the far left one. So no matter what, you've got to go through kinetic burst and handbrake. No big deal, my eyes. That's basically your acceleration, deacceleration. So basically, I accelerate faster, and I slow down, fa and I slow down quicker. It's not a bad thing, actually. So yeah, okay. I will take the acceleration. Turn rate also will take a a, a bit of a, a boost there. No big deal. My turn rate is six percent better. Oh, look at this! After a couple quick little things here. After 81 points, still have 10 more points left. We have all these enhancements on our right. It is insane as to how many options we have. Uh, if we had lasers on this thing, we could do lasers. Uh, Infotech. You know what? Being able to use a UAV, not too bad. Uh, I'm going to do uh, GXP. You know what? Every now and then, it's not, you know, I'm going to take one UAV uh, duration. Because every now and then, people do not shoot down UAVs. So I'm going to also take a UAV range. Uh, I'm going to take a capture assist. A range. Another duration. Another UAV range. Capture assist. And another UAV range. And, uh... Let's think of something else here. Now, mind you, this is obviously not the not the the meta yet. People will, and I will say this now. People will have this thing min maxed out, probably really crazy, really quick. Um, do we have all these target decays? Do I even have one target decay? I got one. Right, let's take another. No, let's take another capture assist. Why not? There's enough domination maps and all that stuff. And all we got to do is, on the right here, it shows us how much it'll cost. It's going to cost us 9.1 million C-bills, which we already know. It'll cost us the 136... Uh, 136,500 MC. Sorry, C-bills. Or, ah, XP. And we split it, right? 36,000 for the 24. And the remaining... For the remaining uh, 67. Black changes... One or more skills, these do not apply to your current loadout. That is always important to take a look at. And there's a reason for that. We're going to hit OK. And you're probably wondering yourself, why did it say that? Why did it give me that option? It's because I did not have a UAV set up on my, uh, on my list. Uh, cool shot, nine. Boom and boom. And there we go. Now, do you want to see all the all, all, all our enhancements? I'm going to hover over it. Yeah, that's right. There are so many on there. You got to go to the mech stats and scroll down. So we've got PPC range, PPC cooldown, PPC velocity, PPC heat generation, uh, energy heat, uh, energy range, um, fall damage reduction, armor bonuses, mech top speed, startup durations, uh, heat dissipation, uh, max heat, hill climbing, screen shake, Sensor range, uh, uh, sorry, uh, speed retention. And then all we have a bunch of things that are technically modules in the old game or the old way. Uh, sensor range, target decay, uh, target info gathering, radar derp, advanced zoom, 360 target retention, seismic, UAV range, UAV duration. Those last two are not. And then last but not least, the capture accelerator, which was. All in all, very, very, very scary mechs that we can build in any of these. We can now build any mech the way we want it to, and we can utilize the skill system to make the mech what we want. Um, I'll be doing videos over the next week or so until it does go, until the, obviously the patch goes public. Um, any builds you'd like to see, please leave them in the comments below. Um, specific build, leave a Smurfy link for me, and, um, and what uh, enhancements you would like to see added to it. Um, one other thing I want to mention, some mechs did not get unquirked. 
For example, the 8R here still has missile cooldowns, LRM-15 cooldowns specifically, energy cooldowns, things like that. Uh, my Awesome here, for example, uh, it still has energy range, energy cooldown, missile cooldown, all that stuff. Um, King Crab, not King Crab, uh, Highlander 2C, I don't think it had any quirks. Um, nope. Uh, any heavies that I can think of got quirks. I don't think so. Oh, there we go. Uh, for example, linebacker A got LRM, uh, LRM cooldown, uh, ER laser duration. At quirk, clan ER heat multi. What? Uh, I believe that's a... <laughs> ER large heat <laughs> There you go. <laughs> that that's actually kind of funny. Um, so yeah, so the overall eight base, if I'm not mistaken, has been removed from this system, but overall it still has some specific quirks on some mechs. Um, the linebacker C has no weapon quirks. The D has some torso yaw, clan ER laser heat uh, reduction. The Prime's got PPCs. Oh, really? No way. Oh. The Prime is so... Which one is my ER PPC boat? Don't I have a PPC boat for one of these guys? Oh, that's you. My pro oh, okay, my Prime. Okay, yeah. So that's ER PPC cooldown. Um, and those other, uh, other uh, aspects onto there, and it's going to be crazy... But yeah, overall, um, I want to say thumbs up. Way, 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 way up. I am impressed. I enjoy it. I'm having tons of fun with it. And I really don't want to stop, but I have to do other record other videos. All in all, really good. If you have any questions about it, uh, if you haven't played it yourself, please leave a comment in the description below, and I will get back to you, or I'll just do another video on a Q&A on the new skill tree system. Until next time, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.